At least five people have now died, as we know from Hurricane Ida, the second most powerful storm to ever hit the state of Louisiana. That state's governor is warning it could be a month before power is fully restored. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze is on the ground in New Orleans. Amid the catastrophic damage from Hurricane Ida, an urgent new threat, with more than a million customers still without power. Now is really the most dangerous time o over the next week. A couple of weeks, and so we're asking people to be patient. We're asking people to be careful. Louisiana's governor says more than 20,000 utility workers are trying to restore electricity, but warns it could be up to 30 days before the lights come back on. For residents who weathered the powerful Category 4 storm, that means no running water, air conditioning, or light. This is the third day without power in New Orleans. This gas station isn't even open, but there are dozens of cars waiting here lined up. They are hoping a fuel truck shows up. They need to get gas in their generators or in their cars so they can charge their phones. Local officials are urging those who've evacuated not to come back until they're told. If you're in a safe place with water and power, that's probably the best place for you to be. More than 5,000 National Guard members are on the ground to help with the search for stranded residents. Heavy machinery clearing the streets. Entire communities cut off with roads impassable and homes destroyed. We didn't expect it to be this bad. The rain just kept coming. It wouldn't stop coming. The rain just now, the EPA and the Department of Energy are easing up on some restrictions to bring more fuel to Louisiana and Mississippi. Some of the residents that we've spoken with here are worried about gas shortages, so that could help boost supply. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, New Orleans.